So coaching was an opportunity for me to um, challenge myself and step out of my comfort zone and I guess that's something I try to encourage my students to do as well. Um, it was an opportunity to sort of just review where things were at and I felt like things were going well but there's always opportunity to improve so for me that's what stepping into this coaching role was about. The video of the lesson was actually quite a powerful tool um, in terms of shaping my goal and, and how this, um, I guess, feedback tool evolved. Um, I was a little bit apprehensive at first, but um, at the end of the day, the video doesn't lie, and I saw a whole heap of things that I, I was quite pleased with and a lot of things that I didn't even know was happening, which really opened my eyes to, I guess, moving forward and, and improving my practice. So the construction of the tool was based around trying to unpack some of the syllabus dimensions and criteria both in the physical performance and in the classroom and I simplified some of the criteria a little bit to help assist with students understanding um, and developing specific feedback and I found that it's been really useful both in the classroom in theory and uh, outside of the physical performance criteria. This is the tool that we're going to use to provide us with some specific peer and self-reflection feedback. Okay, and what I've done is I've isolated the one dimension to make it a little bit simpler for us. Yeah, part of the feedback tool that I've used is incorporates collaboration between students because it's something that we do in physical education quite a lot. Um, so students not only were able to provide others with feedback but self-reflect. And part of that was around giving students better understanding of what collaboration is and how they interact with each other. So, you know, things around being respectful and, um, you know, that they are actually um, a tool for their learning as well as, or as much as I am. So it's quite simply used um, for students around, you know, I would, in the performance environment, I would get them to participate in some gameplay. Um, for a period of time, thinking about some of the elements around what I want their feedback to be, and then they would go and use the tool to provide some specific information around what was happening. Uh, it was also used for, for peer feedback, where they would observe peers for a period of time in a physical environment, um, and provide some specific information on what was happening for their peer in that time. I've, I've seen a, a large impact on some, definitely some students, and their capability in terms of learning both sides of, of physical education and, and being not only you know, physically involved but a lot more mentally involved and stimulated. Mr Spirit has asked us to do peer reflection and self-reflection and that's really helped me improve in my physical performance in PE. So the coaching relationship that evolved between myself and Dom as my coach was probably quite influential in getting the outcomes I've got from this program. Um, the trust that he showed and the empathy around assisting me in developing what, what I came to the conclusion was something that I, you know, could be powerful in enhancing student outcomes. Ben and I uh, were involved in a coaching cycle and it was a really interesting cycle for me as a coach. Ben is a really experienced teacher. He's a head of a department that's quite large and varied. But what I really loved was that Ben was super keen to continue to develop his teaching practice. Through the coaching cycle, we had lots of conversations about feedback specifically around it allows the student and the teacher to understand where the student is at a particular time. The teacher's able to get feedback and then adjust their teaching accordingly to individual students to help them develop further. Mr Spirit is always asking for feedback because he's that sort of role model that we need in the classroom to make sure that our learning environment is adjusted to the way we need it to be. The most amazing thing for me on a personal level was just engaging with a really experienced teacher. Seeing how they taught also benefited my teaching practice. I could see how this teacher was so reflective, was able to apply a particular goal to a lesson, see success from that goal, which then not only impacted their teaching, but I had the privilege of being able to sit in the class and watch the effects of that goal lesson play out before my eyes. I was then able to think about my own feedback practices and adjust my classes by having that experience of coaching them.
experience as a whole has been really valuable. Um, I guess, you know, I've taken my classes on the experience with me. I've, um, you know, mentioned to them about me trying to improve my practice um, and they've engaged fully in that and most of them have understood that at the end of the day it's, it's going to benefit them too. So it's been a wonderful experience.